He hung up. Yeah, sound like it. You could call back and say, I think we got disconnected there, but uh, like I was saying. I'm not calling that guy. <laughs> 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 I, was about to, I was about to hit them like I, I have a I have a different script that I use as well that it mess them up and they they'll yeah. feel like ass they feel like you know they feel like some yeah some like, hold on a second bro what you know yeah. you're cold calling <laughs> you <laughs> you're, you're cold calling aren't you. What's up, everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing super well out there today. And, um, you know, it's a beautiful day indeed. I got my guy Marquez Branson all the way out uh, in Dallas. Uh, What's up, man? What's going on, Ricky, man? Been been <laughs> trying to get on the call with you for a while, man, to kind of get some of this energy going and get on this call and, you know, get a little bit of critique, see what I can do a little better. I feel like I'm I'm doing pretty well with them, but it's always good to have that outside, you know, looking in. Yeah, 100%, man. So tell everybody a little bit about yourself, man. You played in the NFL for a while? I did play in the NFL for a while. I played with the Broncos and the Falcons, man. And uh, after that, kind of retired and got into real estate. I've been investing since I was probably 22 when I first got in. And uh, I always thought – I never really thought I would get my license. I thought it was kind of redundant because I was an investor. But just going on down the line, I love it so much. Why not help other people do it and uh, make a little bit of money at the same time? Yeah, hundred percent, man, hundred percent. So you're gonna be making some live calls. Now, what what position did you play? I played tight end, man. I was down there on the line. Tight end. Yeah, man. All right, then. You got any? You got any nice stats from the NFL? Uh, I got a little bit. <laughs> All right, who are you calling today? Uh, we are going to call uh some homes around the house i just sold got a, got under contract today actually so we're going to be calling that price point around 250 to 350 um and we're in that neighborhood there all right cool well without further ado bro let's get that phone dialing i want to hear some some people saying hello i want some people getting mad cussing you out i want to hear some people saying yes sir let's sell a house today yeah that happens doesn't it Ready? Let's do it, man. Let's go. Hey, yes, I'm looking for the property owner. Of Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I'm looking for the property owner of 2225 Merritt Way. Do you guys own that property there? No idea what it is. No. Nope. No idea. I got you. Yeah, this number is linking to that property there. I'm a local agent. I was calling because I sold the house in that neighborhood. Mm, no, I mean, uh, mm. what part of town is it in? It's over there in Arlington, right off of 360. It's pretty much almost Mansfield, to be honest with you. Nope. I nope. have no idea about that one. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I'm a local real estate agent. You wouldn't happen to have any real estate needs, would you? No, okay, okay. Well, you know, for me, I like to build relationships. I like to think long term, you know, maybe five, 10 years from now, you might want to get in the market. Do you have an agent you usually work with? Yeah, I do. You do? do. Oh, okay, okay. Long What's the name? Relationship. Yeah, long term relationship. Oh, long term? Okay, so you know exactly uh, what I'm talking about. Eric, Eric LeMay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I know exactly. You're in great hands. Okay, okay. Well, I definitely appreciate you being gracious with your time with me, and uh, you have a blessed rest of your day, okay? You do too. Thanks so much. Bye bye. A little warm up, a little warm up, get the butterflies out. <laughs> he says she has a long term relationship. Yeah, with that. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Sounds sometimes, like that. And sometimes I'll hit, I'll hit them with, well, you know, I've been in this business a long time. I see agents come and go. Would it be a crazy idea we stayed in touch? You know, keep me as a backup. Yeah, yeah, long term relationship. Sounds like she, she found him on uh, Tinder and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Smiling and dialing. Hello. Hey, Ina. Sorry. I'm um, looking for Miss Gentry. Yes, that's, this is me. Hey, 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 this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time? Um, no. No? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just here at home getting some work done, you know, trying to keep the family safe from this COVID stuff. How you guys been holding up so far? Uh, we're good. 
You good? Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, I didn't want to, you know, take a bunch of your time this evening. Um, I just sold a house over on Willowstone Trail, and I wanted to, you know, just call a couple neighbors and see if I could help anybody else. Well, unfortunately, I don't live in Mansfield or Arlington anymore. Oh. I actually live in, I'm sorry, Fort Worth. Yeah. Oh, you live in Fort Worth? I got you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, hey, in the future, you know, if something were to ever come up, do you have a, you know, an agent that you work with? I don't. You want to give me your name? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. My name is Mark, Mark Branson. If you, you know, have a good email address, I can shoot you over all my info and you can keep it on file. Okay, sure. Okay, okay. Whenever you're ready. Muted. Okay, it is. I didn't want uh, that email out there. I didn't there. want her email out there. So, yeah. So, how, how'd that go? I didn't see, I didn't hear how it finished. Oh, yeah, I got her email. She said she didn't have anybody. She didn't live in that property anymore. She moved over to Fort Worth. So I just, you know, you don't have a realtor. Hey, I, I Boom. Know. How how far? Let's see. Dallas and North Fort Worth. That is. How far is that? Well, it's uh, Fort Worth is probably it's probably 25 minutes. Oh, it's same nice. market. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, all this whole. There's so many. There's so many cities and outskirts here. Now, depending on traffic, it just depends on what time you go. But it's it's for me, it's not an issue. Yeah. So, so was that, was that like, uh, I mean, that what, that was more like kind of like a first down, like that's not a touchdown, right? That's a, uh, I'm going to say that's like, uh, you roughed up the defensive end coming by a little bit. You, yeah, they thought you were like, blocking all of a sudden. They thought you were blocking. They thought <laughs> you, you were know, blocking like all a, of a sudden. That's like a four, that's like flats. a three yard gain on first. Flats. That's like a three yard gain on first down, you know, out there, you know, it's second and seven. All right. You know, all right. Cool. Yeah. But, I, I, the thing I like is she was she was open, right? You know, so yeah, she was I, wide I was, open. Yeah. She was wide open. It was just a little second and seven now, but she was wide open. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh man, not drop her. So what I like to do as well, I send him a picture of my business card right after we get off the phone, mm -hmm. and then I also send him a link to my my funnel page that has you know videos and some other things just so they can get an idea of who I am. So highlights and stuff. No, no. Highlight reels. Negative. I'm not playing. <laughs> so what happened, man? Did you get hurt? What what what's up? Yeah, man. I uh I had recon I tore my patella tendon, man. My kneecap was sitting on the left side of my leg. And yeah. I probably I probably could have went back, but at that time my body was just done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I let that ride. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't know how some of them guys do it, man. All those years of 30, 30, and people that make it through their 30s. Hey, yes, sir. I'm looking for the, yeah, I'm looking for the property owner of 2424 Hardwood Road in Bedford. Okay. <laughs> Why Dude, she's like, they were like, wrong number. It's like, okay, who cares? Look. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Trying to figure out why this is. Oh man! You know what you got to do, man, with these people. You know when they start acting like that, you got to turn it into more of a prank call situation. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Start I'm messing with them. Hello. Hello. We are not available now. Start messing with them. Yeah. <laughs> Say, hold on, whoa, wrong number. Wait a minute. <laughs> like, just really tear into them with something, you know. You know, I've had I've had a couple of days where I, it was kind of a rough day, and I just kind of went I went back at people a little bit. You, you know, some people just rude for no reason. They hear real estate, they just think you're trying to buy the house. So yeah, I know, I know, I know. You got all them eye buyers out there, you know, yeah. trying yeah. to yeah, buy people's voicemail box. Up. Trying to buy buy up, up out from under them for cheap, cheap, right? Yeah, really they won't leave my uncle alone. And he keeps messing with them. They they keep wanting him to give him give them a number. And he said, "Y'all give me a number." Right. <laughs> they, they've been going at it for about a year. Hello. Please leave your message for. But yeah, I'm uh about thirty eight thousand in calls. I just got my my first my first listing from calls. This okay. Is, just had four hundred and fifty thousand. He's gonna sell that and buy two houses. See you there. The house is cash, so. See you there. Good Got a few in the pipeline, so hopefully everything starts picking up here pretty soon. Let's see what we got here. Hello, you've reached eight one seven three one. Let's 
see what we got here. Oh, you had a couple receptions here. You had a few little receptions. Please leave your message for seven zero two. I swear I hate that delay when it, when it picks up. It's just like nothing, and then it says, "Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta watch it." Let's see what we got here, boy. Let's see what this is. Oh. oh, ho, ho, ho. What is this? What is this? Did y'all have, did y'all have white uniforms in college? White, we were white in purple. University oh, guys, I gotta see this guy's highlight film. Oh, you about to watch that? Okay. We about to watch it. Oh, okay. Oh, everybody about to watch it. Okay. Everybody's watching. Here we go. Here we go. Turn the music, turn the music off. It's terrible. Yeah. Please leave your message for eight one. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys, he's the tight end. They throw him to him right here. All right, quarterback's rolling out. Boom. Oh, he broke your ribs. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Got to keep your head on a swivel. Boop. It took three of them to bring you down right there. Uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> All the way through the house. Uh, oh, they ran. They had, ran had a little speed back in them days. They ran a screen to you. Look at you hurdling people. Okay, then. Let's see what. Oh, down the middle. Look at that, bro. You like a damn. You you were you were like a. Yeah. You weren't I just was, a tight was, end. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was like coming a, across the middle on them. I was. I used to do a lot. <laughs> I was out there running routes. I can see. I can see why you went to the NFL. Please leave your message. Yeah, this was my junior year, so um, you were like I had, I had a, a little. I had a few highlights, but my senior year, that's the one where I kind of went off. You were like a man amongst boys out Please there, leave bro. Your oh, watch this! This is a one hander right here. Two, five, five. Oh man. He's like a man amongst boys out there. Obviously, you got my cell phone. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. To an automatic voice good stuff. I haven't watched this in a while. Oh, no, you didn't. You caught it and sidestepped him. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes my guy got some got some serious game man I bet your quarterback loved you man I'm gonna be honest with you my quarterback he broke every Arkansas every Arkansas collegiate record so I love him I love them too but yeah he did it was Central Arkansas, right? Yeah, Nate Nate Brown. Was it uh what are they are they Division One? So we had just moved up to D1AA. Hello, sorry I missed your call. I'm probably driving. So so we're in a conference with uh, Texas State. And... Wow. Who else we played? That's impressive, bro. And guys, this video of just back-to-back -back highlights are ten is ten minutes long. Pretty serious. You that have is serious, bro. Very mobile. 
two calls. Mm. Nice, nice. Let's go. I hadn't seen that in a while. All right, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Uh, Kansas City, man. I just it's, – it's bad that I'm betting against Please Brady. leave your message for – Hey, isn't it incredible, though, that he made it? I don't even know if it's incredible. It's, I mean, he's the GOAT. It's to be expected. But he, it's not – Tom Brady isn't playing Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady's playing Kansas City defense. And, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. And, and vice versa, Kansas, so. Kansas City's a beast. Yeah. I just I can't he, believe that that Tom Brady. I just can't John, believe him. John is. I mean, and I, mean, I don't even think he's going to stop after this year. I think he's going to do it again. Try to do it again next year. Ain't no doubt. He hadn't talked about leaving. Message. I know. I know Patrick. This I know it's some motivation for him to beat him because if he doesn't, uh, that's something that's going to be lingering for a while. I don't know if you can overcome Brady as the GOAT if you don't beat him. I think he would. I think he would. I, I think he would. He's young, man. He ain't going to let that get him down. He ain't going to let that get him down. Ain't nobody home today, huh? Or eight. Oh, it's not. It's five <laughs> o'clock. They should be on. They should be getting on the road here soon. Catch some people in the car. That's the best time to talk to them. Hi, you reached on. Please leave a message. I ain't gonna lie. I'm fifty-two calls in. I usually be done talk to like at least six people. Yeah, yeah. You normally talk to ten percent. That's what I normally. Please leave your message. I normally talk to about ten percent. So I made I made ten thousand calls in December. I made another eighty five hundred last month. Okay. I'm trying to hit at least eighty five this month. I'm trying to do. I was really trying to do ten a month. Where are you months. getting that data? On um, Vortex. I think I picked up roughly two hundred emails in December. Picked up two hundred and twelve last month. So I'm, I've been I've been chugging away. So so you picked up about 500 so far in the past two months. Well, probably about 400 in the past. 400, two months. and you're doing the weekly email. Absolutely. Man, I can't wait to come to Dallas. Yeah, I'm dying to come to Dallas. Hey, Tracy. Um, uh, I think you have the wrong number. This is Carly. Oh, Carly. Okay, this number is looking to this property on Hardwood Crossing in Arlington. Uh, no, sir. I haven't looked at any property. Oh, I got you. Okay, yeah, I'm a realtor. I just sold a house over in that area, so this number was tied to a property there. Oh, okay, yeah, well, it's not me. Got you, got you. Okay, well, let me ask you this before I let you go. Um, In the future, if you ever, you know, need anything in real estate, do you have an agent you usually work with? Uh, no, sir. No? Okay, okay. Well, you know, I like to build relationships, and, you know, I'd love the opportunity to work with you if, you know, you ever needed any help. Would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? Maybe I can help you out down the line. Uh, yeah, that would be fun. That's fine. Okay, okay. What's a, um, a good email for you? And I'll shoot you over all my information. You can have it on file. You still talking? Yeah, he got some deals with it. Uh, what I'll do, yeah, I'll text you a picture of my business card. And if you ever need anything at all, just give me a shout. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Joe, -bye. man, what happened there? So uh, she didn't live there. She, uh, I just kind of went through my spiel. She gave me the email and told her to give me a call if she ever needs anything. That was a wrong number, wasn't it? Correct. Yeah. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. I told um, you. Hey, listen, bro. I just, I just kind of realized what you said a while ago. 200, 200 emails a month. Yeah. That's twenty four hundred in a year. Correct. That's five thousand or so in two years. That's 7,500 and three. That's 10,000 in four years, right? That's what I'm trying to get. I got 12,000. 12,000 is what I have in my database, right? Right. 5,000 open it up every week. Right. Closing 100 deals. Uh, look, Ricky, I've been watching you. It's pure, it's pure what you've been talking about. And I'm, I'm, I'm smiling and dialing, baby. And I'm, I'm getting emails. Hey, listen, I'm telling you, you don't understand how 
like where this is going for you. If you, if you keep getting 200 a month for four, if you do that for four years straight, it is over, bro. It's over. It's over. Like by the end of this year, I mean, it's over now, but I mean, if you can get to 10,000, yeah, it's yeah, over. I look at my database since, uh, since August really is when I really started dialing. I think I have 780 in my, in my, what about 780 right now? Cause you had some before. Yeah, like I was getting, you know, getting used to cold calling. And, and then as these last probably three or four months, I've kind of gotten my flow. Yeah. Right? And that's when I've been able to really been picking these up. Right. How's your weekly email going? Oh, it's going great. I mean, I have I'm, I have about a 20, 23 percent open rate. Fire. Fire. I really look at that. You know, I'm I mean, just, yeah, that, that's what I got. I got I got about 22 to 24, 25, just to kind of. It varies, you know, but the thing is, is that extra 25% of people who want to do business with you, but they're just not ready right now at all. They don't got time to open it. Two years from now, they start getting interested. They start opening it. They open it up three weeks in a row and then they call you. Right. I got you. And it's like, and I, I think that's kind of the thing too, especially as long as I've been calling and many calls I've been making, you know, I'm in the Facebook group. I see guys, they, uh, they talking about deals and stuff. And I, I'm just being transparent. I haven't had any. And I'm like, dang, when is this going to, you know, start popping off of me? But like I said, the one I just had was a cold call. He called me and what's crazy is he's got the house he's selling. He wants to buy two. I, I sent out a referral to another house. He owns two shorts house in Atlanta. Mm. So two shorts old house. That's worth 800. So that, I got that on referral whenever he's ready. Wait a second. Wait a second. You just said that like it was just. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> Hold on a second. He, owns, he said two short, right? Two shorts old house. Like he said. Two when he shorts bought, old house. He said when he bought it, there was a stripper pole and neon lights and the painted and the walls were black and everything in the basement. That, oh, that this was in his party days. No, in, in two short party days. But right. my client just bought it with his wife and they redid it. OK, so, so how much is it? That one is probably worth, I think, about six fifty. And then I sent out another referral for another house he has in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Six hundred fifty thousand. Correct. For two shorts old house. That was way that was before too short was too short then. I'm saying it's worth 650 now. Oh, he didn't right. that. Yeah. Yeah. That was before too short was too short. That was when he was no short. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it definitely works. That's still cool though. Hello. Hey, Mr. Cheatham. Hello. Mr. Cheatham. I swear I hate that. What was that? It was his voicemail. It was him saying, blah, blah. He said, hello. Blah, blah. To an automatic voice message. <laughs> what in the world? No way. Call you back when I can't. No Thank way. You. No way, Jose. Leave your message for. I'm a little upset. I haven't talked to you. Please leave your message. Hey, you reached out. I'm sorry I missed your phone call. Please leave me a message and I'll. Please leave your message. All has been forwarded to an automated voice. I mean, for me, it's like, you know, no matter where you get your leads from, you're going to you're gonna do the same thing. I actually had a, a bit of a tiff with somebody that was in the group. In the what? In the group. In the Zero to Diamond group? Yeah. What'd they say? It was just this. Hello? Hey, Mr. Branham? Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, no, uh, but we've already bought a house. You already bought one? I got you. Okay, I wouldn't call in to get you to buy or sell anything. Okay, yeah, I bought one. I got you. I got you. Okay, yeah, I, I just sold a house over in the area, and uh, I was just calling around, you know, see if I could help anybody else, which sounds like you guys are in good hands there. Well, I'm good, brother. Okay. I appreciate it, though. I got you. Well, let me ask you this, man. Down the line in the future, if you uh, you know, ever get in the market again, say ten years from now, um, do you have an agent you usually work with? Um, no, we worked with Century Twenty One uh, just because they were the seller on this. Got and, you. Uh, okay. I mean, it worked out for us in that case. Yeah, yeah, but, I got you. Uh, I mean, you know, we'd be open to working with whoever. Yeah, yeah. For me, man, I just you know, I like to build relationships, so we kind of can have some familiarity with each other going down the line in the future. Would it be a, you know, a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? Maybe I can help you out 10 years from now. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll set your number. 
Okay, okay. If you have a you know a good email, I can shoot you over all my info, and uh, you can keep it on file. All right. Um... Nice, 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 nice. Very nice. That, that's that's three or four, three or four emails. I think he talked to six people. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. You take it easy. Couldn't catch the end of it, but it sounded like yeah. it was pretty good. Yeah, I'm working these two systems, so I'd be trying. I'm, I'm over here trying to unmute using my mouse. For the <laughs> yeah, I like. I like. See, man, this is great to hear. You know, people tweaking the script a little bit to make it work for them. And what makes you feel comfortable when you say, "Would it be a crazy idea?" Like, I like that because it's like, you know, where I got that from. So I, I took. I took a little bit of. Uh, Quintavious's, especially with the beginning, was a bad time. Yeah, I took that from him. But then Chris Voss, if you ever ever read Never Split the Difference, no, it's a good book, man, on negotiation. You know, he's a FBI former negotiator, and he says yeah. rather than getting people to answer yes questions because it makes them feel uncomfortable, you get them to answer no questions. So, was it a crazy idea if we kept in touch and they can say no? So it's it's like supposed to loosen them up a little bit, and they, that's I think really believe that has a lot to do with a lot of the emails I get. Okay. So you say you say something to get them to say no, which means yes. Yes. Because if you say, hey, would it be all right if we stayed in touch? Yeah. You know, it's like, mm, I don't really want to do that. Yes. Uh, but if you say, would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? No. OK. OK. Well, it's the same thing. They're saying, no, I don't know if I really want to. And that's the same thing. But yeah, it's I like I like both. Yeah. It's an interesting, different look. I think I think you just helped a lot of people right there because I think a lot of people watching will actually try that. Yeah. And I think they'll like it. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Hello. We are have not you, um, available now. Have you ever dealt with Op City? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what's that like? Um, it's like every other leads generator, you know. Please leave your message for me. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to pay a referral to an agent if they referred you a buyer, you know, but. Um, hey, Mr. Wynn. Yeah. Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. My name is Mark. I'm a realtor in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time there? I said, my name is Mark. I'm a, I'm a real estate agent in Mansfield. So why'd you call me for what? Oh, well, I was didn't want to take a bunch of your time. Uh, I just sold a house in your neighborhood off of Willowstone, and I was calling some neighbors to see if I could help anybody else. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I got you. I got you. Okay. Well, do you have a, a real estate agent that you work with if you ever get into the market? No. No? Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I'm just calling to see if I can help anybody, you know, maybe in the future, maybe five years, you might need my assistance or something like that. Would it be a crazy idea if we, you know, stayed in touch? Maybe I can help you out down the line. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's a good uh, email for you, man? And I'll, I'll send you my information and you can have it on file. Hello? Hello? Yeah, do you have a good email? I can I can send you my information. Oh, I don't have email. You don't have email? Okay, where well, you get your Amazon package from? Okay. Ah, here we go. Gone? That, was, that was funny. Is he gone? Huh? Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Oh man, I was hoping you uh I was hoping you picked up on that Amazon thing. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Right when he said that, I was like, I was thinking the same thing. Do you get Amazon? <laughs> do you got Netflix? Do you right. got do you got Hulu? Do you he seemed like he really Hi. Hey, I'm looking for the property owner of 6110 Flatwood Lane. Actually, technically calling a nine-year-old away. I'm calling a what? I'm sorry. 
You're calling a nine-year-old little boy's cell phone. A nine-year-old little boy's. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I got you. I apologize. Yeah. I, I haven't even. I haven't even started beginning to get my my ten-year-old the cell phone. I don't even know what that would be like. So call it again and see what happens. Call it again and see what happens. Okay. What you what you gonna you gonna do something? Yeah. To me? Don't don't call this number again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Get you. I got you. You take it easy. I hope you have a better day. <laughs> hey, this is Mark. Hello? Hello? Hey, this is Mark. You returning my call there? My gosh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who is this? Yeah, my name is Mark Branson. I'm a real estate agent over in Mansfield. Mansfield? Where is that? That's in Mansfield, Texas, over below Arlington. Oh, I think you may have the wrong number. I'm on Long Island, New York. <laughs> Long Island, yeah. I seem like I'm, I'm pretty far off basis here. Yeah, this number was tied to a property <laughs> there, man. I got well, you. That's okay, man. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. I appreciate it, brother. You take it easy. You too. Bye. Right. That lady said, you call this number again, you're going to see what happens to you. Oh, pull up then. <laughs> you didn't even ask you what it was about or anything, you know? Okay. Just making threats. Right. Look, how are you supposed to know it's a, it's her nine-year-old little boy cell phone? Right. That, by the way, First I all, mean... I don't know why a nine-year-old has a cell phone. My daughter is... 16, 15, 16 months old. So I don't know anything about a nine-year-old, but I can only imagine that they're not going to have a cell phone at nine years old. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like that just is beyond I could be me. dead wrong. She might have one when she's five. I don't know yet. Mm, I can, I can, especially, I, I got boys, so I can only imagine if, we had, if I had a girl, then she, she probably wouldn't have a cell phone when she was 20. Hello? Hey, yes, sir. I'm looking for the property owner of 6016 Hardwood Crossing. I, I have no idea what it is. No, um, no idea. Okay, this number's is linked. Hello? I'm sorry. Yeah, I get these calls all the time. Do you? You don't I even. Flip house, but, but... You say you flip houses? I got uh, you now. Okay. And build them, but I don't know. Oh, I got but you. you saw my number? Somebody, somebody got your number you linked. Shot. Yeah, somebody got your number linked to this property, man, for sure. You uh, are you you living in the state of Texas? Yeah, I'm in Texas, yes, sir. Okay, okay. What part are you at, man? I'm over here in Mansfield. Uh, I'm in. Uh, I actually live in Fieldsby, close to Beaumont. Close to Beaumont. Okay, you down there? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Beaumont. I got you, man. Well, if you you ever you ever think about you ever think about coming up here to DFW, getting you some property, man. You say you're flipping. DFW Washington. <laughs> no, Dallas Fort Worth. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about the airplane part. Yeah. Um, uh, no, actually, it's another one. But um, I need to come up there because I actually funded a friend to flip a property out there years ago. Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. a Bosnian, Macedonian friend of mine. Should he? Oh, okay. Okay. So you you heavy yeah, in the, you heavy in the business then? The well, um, I sort of kind of. I'm a lender too, but I try not to lend that much. One time, my my life was getting so tight. My wife, you know, some women. Oh, really? They don't like that kind of stuff. They don't like that. So, uh, I got you. Yeah, so okay. I, just, yeah, I can't do that like that. But anyway. Yeah, I got you. Uh, well, but I sort of kind of. Yeah. Okay. Well, man, hey, if you ever up this way and you know you want to look at some property or you might need somebody to connect with, man, I'd love the opportunity to you know work with you. Would it be a you know crazy well, idea if we stayed in touch? Maybe I can help you out down the line. That'll be good. What all do you do? Uh, I'm all in residential, man, land, you know, anything that you might need, I can definitely help you do it. So I have plenty of colleagues and connections that we could do and to get you in the right place. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Mark Branson, like Branson, Missouri. Can you text me your number? Yeah, I can probably I can do you one even better. If you got a good email, man, I'll shoot you over all my info and you can, you know, have it on file. Yeah. Okay. It's Kendrick. I got you. Okay, man. Well, yeah, man. Uh, like I said, uh, like I, whenever you're down this way, you want to look at some property, you know, there's gonna there's gonna be some stuff coming up here soon with these uh this moratorium and that sort of thing coming down. So we might have some deals open up, you okay. know, floodgates might open up. So I'm going to shoot you a text with my picture of my business card in it. And uh, if you ever need anything, man, just give me a shout. Okay, I'll shoot. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, man. You stay blessed, man. Keep that family safe from this COVID stuff, all right? Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank right. you. Thank you. All right. How many calls have you made? 
86 in 40 minutes. You did what? 86 calls in 40 minutes. I mean, 86 calls, and you picked up four emails, right? Uh, yeah, well, that's the fourth one, correct. Four emails. Off of eight, eight contacts. All right, so you're, so you're, bat, you're batting 50%. It's not right now. You're batting 500, and you got 40 minutes in, 86 dials. So you talk, you talk to – wait, you said you talked out of eight contacts? Out of eight contacts. Four. So you talked to 10%. You dialed 86. You talked to eight, and you picked up four. These numbers, bro, these numbers are – Automatic voice. These numbers are the exact – dude, I tell everybody, you make 100 calls, you talk to 10 people – and you have three to five great conversations. Forward it to an automatic voice message system. Bravo. Call it takes, to an automatic it takes about voice message system. It takes you about an hour to make 100 dials. You talk to 10 people. You get three to five. You know, usually for me, in the hour, because I'm in 91 now. In the hour, I usually hit 130. Are you triple or single, darling? I'm triple. Dollar. Triple? Yeah. It just depends if you triple or single or whatever. And plus, sometimes if you get on the phone with maybe like if one person talks to you for 20 minutes, it throws everything off. Right. Forward it to an automatic voice message. What I found is eight. my callbacks. Those are the ones that usually, most of the time I talk for a minute with those. When they call me back. Yeah. If I'm, on, if I'm dialing and I have a callback, that trumps me dialing because I don't know if the next person is going to answer. They're on the line right now. Then forward it to an automatic voice message. Hello. Hey, Scott. Yes. Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time? Um, this is a cold call. And uh, my number's on the do not call list. I'm sorry. And you may not call this phone number again. Do you understand? Oh, uh, I'm not cold calling you there, sir. Um, I don't know who you are, so I don't know why you would be cold calling. Why you'd be calling me? Well, like Take I said, I, like I said, I'm hello. He hung up. Yeah, sound like it. You could call back and say, "I think we got disconnected there," but uh, like I was saying, I'm not calling that guy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was about to, I was about to hit him. Like I, I have a, I have a different script that I use as well that it mess them up, and they, they'll yeah. feel like ass. They feel like you know, they feel like some yeah. Stuff. Like, hold on a second, bro. What you know? Yeah. You're cold calling. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're you're cold calling, aren't you? <laughs> uh, look, you hear real hear realtor is automatically yeah. it's a bad thing, man. Like, bro, you're like man. no, you're like no. I'm I'm you know I'm not cold calling you. He's like, well, my numbers are on the do not call list, and you're not to call me ever again. <laughs> wow, golly, man. I mean, I mean, automatic that. voice message system. And plus, you know what? He doesn't even know who you are. No, like, you could have, dude. You could have been the biggest blessing in his life. Yeah. You know, you could have came. There's no telling. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. Time. You need to take the time to find out first. You know, at least find out. Before I get go. cold call from people. You know, and you know, I hear him out for a second sometimes. If it's a robo call. If it's yeah. a robo call, I'm gonna hang up. You know, if they if they like like when people call call me, if they start talking their stuff and they like start talking real fast and all this stuff, they I'm gonna give you a chance. Yeah, yeah, I'm hanging up. But if they call me with the with a real intro and a real conversation and stuff, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I'm gonna listen for a second and see where this is going. Yep, absolutely. You, honestly, you're probably trying to you're trying to critique their skill. I'm listening. I'm trying to learn stuff. We got a call back. Hold on. Hey, this is Mark. I've got a missed call from this number. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my name is Mark. I'm a realtor down in Mansfield. Hmm. I didn't. I wasn't looking for anything in Mansfield. That's interesting. Okay, no, no, no. I, I, uh, I was just giving you guys a quick call. I sold a house over in the neighborhood there off of Willowstone. And so, you know, I like to call a couple neighbors and just see if I can help anybody else. Um, I don't live anywhere near Mansfield. Oh, okay. This number was tied to a property I over there. You got the, the wrong number. 
I got you. But I think this number was tied to a property over there in Arlington. That's that's where I, I'm. I sold the house on Willowstone uh, over in Arlington. I don't know. I live in I live in Denton. You live in Denton? Oh yeah, you're far north. I got you. Okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. I got okay, you. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Well, let me ask you this, man. In the future, if you you know ever get into the market, do you have an agent you like you work with? No, I actually I'm not into buying anything right now. So right now. So. Yeah, I got you, man. I, right, man. For myself, man, I just like to, you know, build relationships. You know, maybe five, ten years from now, you might want to do something, and I'd love to work with you. Would it be a crazy yeah. idea if we stayed in touch? Maybe I can help you out. Well, I don't know. I'm actually probably going to relocate to another state soon, but I'll okay. keep you in mind. For sure, Thank for you, sure. Yeah, if you have a good email, man, I can shoot you my info, and, uh, you know, you can have it on file. He gone, man. He gone with the wind, bro. Yeah, he was, he was, out of he here, was trying, bro. He was trying to get off. I kept I kept holding him up. He was trying, though. <laughs> he got to here like this tight end. I used to know down to central Arkansas back in 07, 08 days. He yeah. hit the flats and he catched the ball and he be gone, boy. He be gone. Hey, skirt, skirt. <laughs> I, I tried to turn him around. He was like, all right, bye. All right. Okay, bye. Yeah, he's like, he's like. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I will sure keep your number in mind, and I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! That's oh. I'll talk to you, Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> hey, Adrena. This is Mark Branson. I'm a real, I'm a realtor over in Mansfield. I catch you at a bad time. You did. This is my work phone. I'm oh. not quite sure how you got it. Oh, I'm uh -huh. so sorry. Yeah, it'll only take a second if you could, you know, spare really quickly. No, I'm in the grocery store checking out, but thank you. Okay, why'd you? Okay, answer? I got you. Hold on, she just said she was at work. <laughs> she said no, she said it's her work phone. I don't. Oh, know okay, I got you. I was like, yeah, I have some tomatoes and lettuce here. I'm trying to. <laughs> I mean. Answering the phone if you're in the checkout aisle at the grocery store. Right. For a number you don't know. Red flags, man, everywhere. I'm with Castles and Dream. Excuse me. Hey, Kim. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over in Mansfield. Did I catch you at a bad time, Kim? Oh, uh, well, this is my business line for Castles and Dreams Travel. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. This Can I help? Yeah, I was just giving you a quick call. This number was tied to a property over there uh, in Arlington. I just sold one off of Willowstone. And I was, you know, calling a couple of neighbors, seeing if I could help anybody else. Oh, yeah, no, we are not in the market to sell. Thank ah. you, though. Okay, okay. Well, let me ask you this. Um, in the future, if you guys ever get in the market, you know, five, ten years from now, do you have an agent you usually work with? Yes, we do. You do? Okay, you're in good hands. I got you. What's their name? I might know them. I have two different realtors that are really good friends of mine. One is Michelle uh, Lanford and uh -huh. one is Kirsten D. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're in great hands. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Well, I definitely appreciate you being gracious with your time with me, and uh, you have a blessed rest of your day, okay? You too. All right. Bye-bye. All right, let's, let's kill that dialer. Kill it? Yeah. I feel like I didn't get to talk to enough people, man. <laughs> you, did, you, did. You, you dialed how many? 90? Uh, no, nah, I'm probably I probably hit 100. Oh yeah, you were tripling. You probably hit 100. Yeah, I'm at 124. You hit, you hit 120. 124. 54. You, you talked to 12 people. Um, contacts was 11, and then we didn't count some of the callbacks. So there you go. There you go. There you go. So 11 plus two called you back, I think. So that's that's 13 out of 124, and you got. Four emails, five, four. Four. Yeah. Yeah, you know, look, bro. 200 a month, man. 200 a month, 200 a month. It's, dude, listen, man. I woke up one day and I was a top agent in my market, and everybody was like, what just happened? You know what I mean? Right, and right. they're like, oh, how'd you do that? And I'm just looking at them like talking to 10, 15 people today, picking up three or four emails a day and doing a weekly email. That's all I did. And then it, they just start calling you after a while. They just start calling you. See, what happens is, is like, here's the process. Like you're, you, you're like, you're working real hard to try to get deals now. Right. 
Mm. And so you're talking to all these people trying to get deals now. And that, that's what we need to do. We need to get to a deal. But we're also looking at long term. So the people we talk to that don't want to do a deal now, we're still accumulating those people for the future when they do want to do something. Right. So like you're building your business for now and later at the same time. So so after a couple months, you you run into somebody that wants to do a deal now. OK, and you start working on that deal. You're still making your calls and trying to find people that want to do deals. And then all of a sudden you get a call back like you did from that guy that that wanted to do a deal and do two more deals or whatever. Was that somebody that you cold called that day or was that somebody you cold called uh, a while back? It was from like a couple of months prior. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. So, so like you start having people start to call you back after like three or four months. And then if you keep making the calls, you plant you're planting all these seeds for like three or four months out. And so like you, you get to the point where you're doing some deals now and it, it like it's like a it's like a, a double whammy because you're doing deals because you're finding people that want to do deals now. But then you start also getting calls from people you talked to a couple months ago or even a couple years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. Once you get into the same for a year or two or three, then you got so many people you talk to and so many seeds you planted. You know, you're still working and trying to get deals done now, but you also got these people that you talked to in the past that start coming to you. Right. Then after a couple more years, you start getting the three way whammy where you got the, the deals you're trying to do now, the people that call you back that, that you talk to, and then you got repeat and referrals. Right. And then those start coming in. Right. And so you, you, it's, it's like the process of, of a real estate agent. And then as you morph through for, you know, a good three, four, five, six, seven, eight years, you get to a place where it's just past kinds and referrals and it keeps you so busy from all the seeds you planted. You don't have to go try to find any more, you know, people that want to do deals. Everybody's just coming to you. And so the, so the whole thing reverses on you where people are just calling you to do deals. Yeah, dude, that's the process, man. And people just can't stomach that little three or four months of really working hard for no money yeah. to get their business jump started, you know, like you've done. And now you got a little deal in the works. Mm -hmm. You're smooth as you're real smooth on the phone. Yeah. I mean, you're, I, I want to give me some give me some feedback, you know what I mean? Because no, like for anybody that's watching, when I started, I, it was the same, the same thing as everybody feels, you know, you get them, them jitters and you just yeah. don't know what to say and I had my scripts and whatnot, but after making this amount of calls, it, like you say, you tweak, you adapt, you push, and then you see what, oh, how people respond to this and that. And it's like, oh, this actually works for me. Let me keep using yeah. this. And then you're having the same conversation so much that right. when they throw a little bit of a loop to you, you can bend it back around to where, okay, well, I heard that before. Well, I could say this to that, you know? So the only thing I'm not crazy about with it, and I don't, I mean, it's fine, don't, but the only thing I'm not crazy about is just saying, hey, is this the owner of whatever, whatever street or whatever? Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy about that part, but, but you know, it's not what you say, though, bro. It's how you say it, and the way that you say that, it works. It works for you. You know what I mean? Give me, a, give me, give me, a, give me an alternative when you don't, I can't pronounce their name. Okay, when you, when you can't pronounce their name, what I do when I can't pronounce their name, I just go right into who I am. Okay. As soon as they answer, I just say, hey, it's Ricky Caruth, you know, yeah. whatever real estate, whatever area, how you doing today or whatever. I yeah. just skip that part. If it's an LLC, if it's a trust, if it's a if it's a weird name I can't pronounce, if I just have no idea what their name is, uh, I just go straight into who I am and just skip that whole name part. And then I just carry through as if they are the person I'm trying to call until they tell me otherwise. So, so when they, when they say, Hey, you know, when I say, how are you doing? They say, good. I'm like, cool. Me too. Enjoy the day, whatever, you know, don't want to take it too much of your time. I sold a house, you know, whatever, you know, I want to see if there's anything I can do to help you at that point, they may stop me and say, wait a minute, what's that got to do with me or what house is that or what area. And, but until they give, until they tell me that that's not who I want, because the thing is, man, is I'm just looking for humans. Right. Exactly. I'm not, I don't even care that it's not the right person. I'm just looking for humans. And I think really honestly, I'm just looking for humans. Honestly, my close rate on wrong numbers it, at a certain point, it started to get to a point. I was like, I really, I close like two out of you, five. You, you crush wrong numbers. Like <laughs> it's yeah. ridiculous what you do to wrong numbers. Like I really, I started noticing, I was like, you really be like two out of five. You wrong numbers. Now, now let me ask you something like this. This is the question I get a lot. 
I just, somebody just asked on Instagram and I get this a lot and I know, I know what I, I mean, for me, it's just natural, but like, <clears throat> like if you're calling in a neighborhood, if you're calling in a neighborhood and then, you know, say an hour later, <clears throat> you're done with your call session, an hour later, somebody calls you back and it was somebody on that list you call and left a message for, you know, what do you do? Mm-hmm. So when they call me back, the first thing I say is, I, hey, this is this is Mark. And you're like, yeah, are you calling me a call back? I was like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was giving you a call there, man. I'm a local real estate over in Mansfield. And then I pause to let them, okay. Mm-hmm. And I say, yeah, I was just giving you a quick call about the neighborhood there in wherever I was calling for that day. So in over there in Arlington, oh, okay, yeah. And the, in that tone, they're gonna tell me whether they live in that, they live in Arlington or if they live somewhere else and I got the wrong number, right? And so after that, it's like, okay, well, I just sold the house over off of Blase. Blase, right into the script. Perfect. Perfect. See, I like the little, when you say, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm just an agent down here. Like that. See that little part right there, mm-hmm. you know, that little, oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, look, I'm a, I'm a local agent down here or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like people put too much pressure on themselves to like want to know exactly what house they own and who they are and all that. It don't even matter who they are, what house they own. We're look, we're looking for humans. Right. Absolutely. I just need a human, man. I need a human to talk to to see what I can do to help them today. Right. And then most of the people don't even care about the house that you're talking about. You're, you know, sold, or they don't even know what street it's on. They, even if it's just a few blocks away, they really don't care about that. Yeah. So. Well, cool, man. Hey, I appreciate you coming on today. I'm gonna bring you back, bro. I'm gonna get YouTube figured out. And we're gonna bring you back one of these days. Okay, for sure, man. I'll bring you back in a couple months, and we'll see where you are. Okay, for sure. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate everything you've done, man. You definitely, for somebody that didn't know, I found you and just went I went all in, and that's that's where I'm going. So I understand the longevity of it. You know, give me a few years under my belt, I'll probably be too busy to even do anything. So that's fine. You will be, man. You will be. I know exactly where, you're, where your career is headed because of the way that you communicate. Yeah. Just the way that you communicate with people and really connect. And you got the, you do, you got the right tone and the pauses and the speed and everything, man. Yeah. The way that you communicate is just top notch, first class, and that is the number one skill. If you, if it, I don't care. It, it that is that. I mean, I don't know what else to say, bro. Like that is it. Like I don't care if you don't know how to fill out a contract or where to get leads or um, any of that, bro. If you don't know how to talk to people, yeah, then you're not gonna make it. That's kind of, I took that, I took that to heart when you said that, like, cause I was going to start by, let, let me learn these contracts. Let me make sure I know them right them down. And I was like, well, if I do that and I don't have anybody to actually do that with, it's kind of pointless, right? I know a lot of agents that they study contracts for like three months, three or four or five or six months or eight months. And then they just go right back to their nine to five job. Right. They just, stu- they just figure out how to write contracts literally for like eight months. Right. And then they go right back to the nine to five. It's like, for me, I didn't want to know how to write contracts until I had somebody that wanted to write a contract. Exactly. You know, I feel like I feel like I learned. I learned, you know, all through it, and I have a great. Um, for me, I'm with a you know a brokerage that's 100. percent So I'm, I have a I just have a contract person. I, I I send my contracts to. They make sure everything's right. If it's not, they send it back to me. Like, nah, that ain't gonna work. Fix it. And so I'll learn through the process of that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Cool. Well, like I said, man, good to have you on. I know everybody appreciates uh, you coming on and sharing. So we'll talk to you soon, bro. All right, brother. Appreciate it. Take it easy.